Scott again, Tidy Bricks Landscaping. Today we're going to be showing you French drain system and putting the soak away in. Oh, let me just lower that out. It's a bit on the bright side. Oh, you'll have to excuse my ear. It's um, getting a bit wild. A bit like me, wild. So, behind me, we've got a big garden going on at the moment and it's all clay. It's all clay. And I'm just speaking to the customer now. And he was just saying, ever since his children were small, young, when they were doing like fireworks and stuff in the garden, they, uh, it was always squelchy. And I was years and years and years ago, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously, you don't know the ages. Um, so we're gonna sort it out. We gotta, we gotta do the patio anyway. So whilst the digger's on site, we're gonna do a French drain system running down to a soak away. Um, I'll spin around so you can see the pipes and whatnot. Okay, well, there's the crates we're using. Using four of those peppies. We've got 100 mil pipe wrapped in a weed membrane, so sediment can't get into it. Then we've got a big trench there, about a foot down, we've got three of them. And then round the corner over there, we've got a sleeper retaining wall. We're going to stick one up against there as well. But for now, we're going to um, we're going to cover this section. So this crate here now behind you, we have to wrap that up in a weed membrane as well. These legs at the bottom, that's the bottom of it. So we chuck down 20 mil clean stone first, stick that on top of it so no sediment can settle the bottom. Uh, now I've got a dig hole, big hole down the bottom. So all these lead down to here. There's going to be a patio behind it. So that's all three channels are going to lead into that. Actually, four channels, because that's going to be a sleeper boundary wall there. We're going to stick another one along that edge to connect into there as well. So time for me to start getting digging and as soon as I've dug some of it out, then we'll show you what the crack is next. Big I'm in a hole again. Wrong type of hole. Um, so, soak away sorted out now. We've got a good depth. The depth and the width is pretty much what we're after. So we've got a load of 20 mil clean stone we're gonna put in the bottom of it now so it's permeable so when we put the crate in it's got a permeable bottom the water can still travel through the bottom of it so that's in position now we'll get the 20 mil stone wang that in lever off check dimensions one more time then we'll wrap up the soakaway box in the weed membrane stick it in a hole and um, connect the pipes up to it then so, sun shining, do not want to be doing this on a wet day? This would suck eggs. Right, okay, so, right, okay, so, right, okay, so. Right, let's get some stone in here, I think. I'm gonna hold my belly in when I'm talking as well, so I look like fat bastards sometimes. <laughs> right, see ya, I'm going. <gasps> so this is what the crate looks like. That's four of them together. Now we've got the weed membrane now to wrap around it, pick it up, put it in the hole, a hey, presto. Happy birthday to me, I wonder what's in the box. I've got a good idea, it's just a big piece of plastic. So soak away is in the ground at required heights. I've cut a hole in it there. And there's another three holes cut out there. They have to connect up to these and the one on the side, which is having one along the sleeper wall. But that's pretty much it. So we'll put a load of chippings in around the side of it now, then redig these trenches so it all connects up nicely. So here we go. We're doing the, um, we've had the delivery from uh, Travis Perkins. So. We're filling up the trench, a couple of inches of uh, clean stone. 
put the pipe on top and then we'll put the um, put the clean stone back on top of that. And that's basically a French drain. That's all sloping that way, down to a nice soak away. So any of the water on here now, just gonna go south. So we'll sped around a couple more pins, put the pipe on. Then I'll show you a little bit more of chucking some chippings on top. So we got about two inches chippings down, pipe on top, wrapped in the weed membrane. Fire away, young lad. So that'll go across there. And then we put the earth back on top of it. And then hopefully tomorrow, because it's going to pour it down this afternoon. What right, guys? Welcome back to the Tidy Brick Show. Whoop, whoop. So, French drain, this one, isn't it? I got so many videos going on at the moment, I can't remember which one's which. But yeah, French drain. Uh, we done the three over there, I believe I've showed you that bit. So this is the last bit now along here. We've got a sleeper wall going between the grass area and the tree area. So we put the sleepers in yesterday, concreted them down. And now we've got to put the drain in and put all the chippings in. So, yeah, I'll spin it round now because we'll have a look at the um, the actual subway bit down there. Back in a bit. So here we go. we got the... Um, I always say stuff like that. So here we go. So, so, so. i got to think of new stuff. Right, ignore that. It's all bollocks. Um, yeah, so our wall's in. Uh, we put a damp-proof membrane up against the sleeper just to um, prolong a lifespan. There's the pipe there, all wrapped up in the weed membrane. So that comes all the way down here, across the boggy bit. Then that connects into there. I've chucked a whole bag of chippings there to block the hole. So we've got three pipes there. One, two, three, you can see where they are. So they're in position. Now that's in position. Now you've got two tons of chippings around the front to sling in the hole. And when that hole's done, then I can backfill this one then as well. So that'll be another piece done. I do have some spare hardcore over there. So I'll wang that on the top. Then sometime in the future, it will be um, grass. Oh, hang on. I'll just fall down the hole. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, while I'm here, while I'm here, just in case, because this video is just for drainage, just in case you like seeing cool things, check this cool thing out. It's not my saw. It's the border tiles we're using on this job. So you'll have to watch another video for this. Check these puppies out. Swing, swing, swing. They're wicked, aren't they? They are awesome. Yeah, porcelain. Ting, ting, ting. Ow, hurts. Uh, yeah, so we had two choices, actually, before I go to there. Let me show you a whole one. So that's a whole one. We got that many and more around the front. So we had a choice of two patterns. We either had that pattern or that pattern. And we're going for that pattern. Nice. So that's going to go around the internal and external. So those tiles I just showed you there, that's them as well. Then we got four packs underneath there of urban grey. Same tiles my mate Matty's using. Brockstone Landscapes, he's using these. And he did tell me they can be a little bit concaved as well. So I've taken that into considering. So yeah, cheers, Matt. Happy days. So yeah, customer likes that pattern over that pattern. But yeah, it's night and day. It's hard to tell which I actually prefer. They both look cool. Well, anyway, that's another video. I'm going to turn around now so you can see my mush. So, um, yeah, so that's basically, um, what's the word? French drain, that's it. So that's a French drain around the back. That is a separate video. That's going to be the install video. But I haven't got around to starting it yet. I've been around the back digging holes for the last bloody couple of weeks. But otherwise, you want to come back, see some of this stuff, that's the other video. Until then, I'm off to Travis Perkins, get some pipes. Like and subscribe. See you soon. Tidy.